بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم احمد ممتاز مستحسن یور ٹیچر فار سی ایس سی ون فور ون انٹروڈکشن ٹو کمپیوٹر پروگرامنگ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی آر آلموسٹ کمنگ ٹو دی اینڈ آف دس پرٹیکولر کورس اینڈ دے آر اونلی کپل آف چیپٹرس ڈیٹ وی نیڈ ٹو اسٹڈی اینڈ ٹوڈے I'll uh, teach you a very important topic in uh, C programming and that is basically the structures. For this particular lecture, I have uh, taken the material from your reference book that is uh, how to program C, yeah, C how to program by detail in detail. You know that this is our reference book. So I'll be using this particular uh, reference book for uh, the chapter this uh, lecture and uh, the relevant chapter is chapter number 10 so uh, you just relax that the total material that today I'll be referring is mostly from this reference book and there are few examples that I have picked up from the uh, another reference book which is called letter C but since I have picked up the only the examples and I have embedded it with this particular lecture so you don't need to worry and don't need to find out the second reference book so all the relevant example that I have uh, placed it in this particular lecture I will go through it and explain it for your convenience so structures structures are related variables or collection of related variables under one given name جیسا کہ اریز دیٹ واز دی ایلیمنٹس دیٹ سیٹ آف ایلیمنٹس وچ ور گیون ون سنگل نیم بٹ دی لمیٹیشن اینڈ ریسٹرکشن ان دی ارے واز ڈیٹ آل دا ایلیمنٹس شوڈ بی آف سیم ڈیٹا ٹائپ دس ریسٹرکشن از ناٹ دیئر ان اسٹرکچرس سو دی ایچ ایلیمنٹ آف دا اسٹرکچر کین کنٹین ویریبل آف ڈفرینٹ ڈیٹا ٹائپ okay so the restriction of the arrays are no more there a structure cannot contain the instance of itself what does it mean that recursively you cannot refer back to the structure means any member of the structure cannot refer back to the structure however if you want to refer back the structure any member wants to refer back to that particular structure you can use a pointer that is a very very delicate difference that the member cannot refer back however the pointer to that structure can be used and that can refer back to the same structure and one of the very renowned uh, the application is basically the link list where you use a pointer to that particular structure within the structure okay so basically structures we use to define the records obviously when we talk about the records I will come back to this uh, in the next lecture when I will teach you the uh, files uh, in the future lecture so basically record up assume kare, the set of fields a variety of data Variety of data means ke one data type is a name, second data type could be a salary, third data type could be a telephone number. So you can uh, basically have a variety of data through which you can process and read and write the data from a file and uh, you can use the structures for that. So we can also combine the concept of the pointers and uh, there are certain applications like link list, tag, queues, these are the basically uh, data structures and these data structure you will study inshallah in your future course. So today I will just concentrate with the structures. Just like uh, data type, you are required to declare a data type. Similarly, if a structure is uh, a data type and your defined data type, then you are required to declare this structure. This structure has got some syntax and that syntax means there is a keyword struct, struct. This is a keyword. Then you can give this structure a name and this name is also known as a tag. This name is basically a tag. 
uh, it is not like a variable name this is the name that you are assigning to this particular structure so basically this is the name that you are going to define a data type so this is not int x if you say int x integer is the data type x is the variable but when I say struct card it does not mean that it card is a variable card is equal to int because it is a data type okay so we can define any uh, structure with our tag and then we can define we are free to define the variables name and here we have used uh, the same example face and suit that the card shuffling uh, example that I've used it in my past lecture also so uh, this is a pointer face that is a pointer to a character similarly suit is a pointer to a character face me kya hota? you remember face is the card ke jo numbers hai, that starts from S isko yakka bhi kehte hain purdu mein and then uh, 2, 3, 4 and then you have a 10 and jack and uh, queen and king so king is equal to 13 so basically this is card face and suit there are 4 suits there and uh, you remember that uh, there are basically the uh, uh, four suits which is uh, club uh, or spread uh, the uh, diamond and also uh, you know that I'll uh, show you also in the example so the structure introduces the definition for structure card so here you have defined a structure and you have given it a name card and here you have provided the definition that this data type should have two members and the members are given a name and these two members are pointed to a characters. So the card is the structure name and is used to declare the variable of the structure type. Now if I want to use this uh, uh, particular data type, so structure card is basically the data type and character static is the members and there are two members, both are pointer to character. Okay, let's take another example. Suppose uh, uh, we are required to define the attributes of a book. If we are required to define the attributes of the book, there could be a name of the book for which you can use a character name for the simplicity. In this particular example, we have used one character. There is no book which has uh, one name uh, which is equal to single character, but just for your convenience, I have not uh, complicated the issue and said uh, it is a character name, then float price, and then integer pages, and then what is this b1 b2 b3 this is card tag but this b1 b2 b3 are the variables that can be declared to be of the type structure book b1 b2 b3 hai isko aap assume kar sakte hain x jaise integer x okay integer y integer b1 b2 b3 so here the b1 b2 b3 are the variables for which the data type is structure book is ka matab hai ke b1 will have the characteristics and attributes of character name float price and pages and b2 and b3 all the variables each and every variable has the attributes and these attributes are which are defined in a structure book so some concepts regarding the uh, manipulation of structures in the memory that uh, you should know that the statement set aside space in the memory कौन सी जब भी हम कोई डिफाइन कर देते हैं मींस के जब आप वेरिएबल उसके साथ अटैच कर देते हैं इट मेक्स अवेलेबल स्पेस टू होल्ड ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इन द स्ट्रक्चर जैसे अरे के केस में होता है सिस्टम एलोकेट्स द कंजेक्टिव मेमोरी एलोकेशन इन दिस केस 7 बाइट्स one for the name and four for the price and two for the pages let's go back one byte because it's a character float four bytes because it's a float float is a data type that contains four bytes so four plus one five integer takes two bytes so this data type contains seven bytes so that we are spinning it here so if we desire we can combine the declaration of structure type along with the structure variable just like we have done simultaneously we are declaring the data type and also providing the name of the variables that we can combine these bytes should should be 
adjacent in the memory location but sometime it happens for example the system might not provide you the consecutive memory location in order to fill up the gap so for that person we can say that uh, the storage alignment for a variable type structure there may be an undefined area Q, okay, first one we have defined it as a, a character so it is one byte and now suppose the system wants to align next as a word boundary when I put that okay, memory is access with reference to the words so if the system has a default alignment in the boundary in that case the system will leave one byte blank here if the system will leave one byte blank here for just its alignment purposes to increase the performance of the system while accessing the memory so system might align it so the structure may not be compared using equal and not equal uh, operators for the reasons of the undefined area of storage that may not match what does it mean it means that you cannot compare two structures together why because the defined bytes might have the same data for this undefined byte it will contain some garbage and you cannot uh, ensure that the garbage should be of the same uh, characteristics so with this reason with this very important reason you cannot compare two structures directly so if you are required to compare two, direct, uh, two structures directly, in that case you are required to carry out the comparison by the member by member. I'll come back to this later on. So a possible storage alignment for a variable of type structure where we have seen that the first byte is representing characters and next bytes might be aligned and adjacent. So assigning a structure to a structure of the same type you can assign that but uh, basically yes you cannot compare that but you can assign that what does it mean it's mean that oh, your garbage here that will also be overwritten so since you are not going to access that so it will not harm kya matlab hua iska ke agar suppose two structures hain un structures ka same type ke structures hain so you are interested only with the relevant area where you are going to put your members members kaun kaun se hain name a member hai, uh, price uska member hai, or uh, what was that uh, yes uh, pages so these are the three members so if you are only interested in that and if there is a uh, alignment uh, uh, byte uh, system has uh, left for the structure it will leave it for every structure so you can still assign the contents of one structure to another structure Similarly, if you want to find the uh, use the address of the structure, we know that ampersand sign is uh, something basically that you can use with the name of the variable and it will give you the address of that particular variable. Similarly, we can use this ampersand sign with the name of the structure and even with the name of the members. I will explain you how can you refer a member in a structure. So assigning the memories uh, of the structure, uh, I've already explained it to you that uh, it is according to your members. Then you can also use the size operator, size of operator. In the last demo expression, uh, the uh, lecture demonstration, I have uh, given you the demonstration. How can you find out the size of uh, integer, flow, double, long double with the help of the size of operator. So the same size of operator you can use to find out the size of your structure. Okay, how many bytes it comprises. Okay. Initializing uh, structure and uh, let me see it's uh, slide number 19 uh, whether I have skipped your slide no so it's starting from slide number 8 that's why it is saying slide number 19 so let's come back to this I thought that I might have skipped uh, some information okay so let's continue initialization or initializing structures initializing structures what does it mean it's mean that we initialize the variables we can initialize the variable similarly we can initialize the structures also and in that case we can put the here we are doing both uh, 
together means that we are declaring the structure because we already declared card and now we are using card one card it's just like uh, integer x okay and this one card is the name of the variable and card is the data type and then you can put three as a face and heart hearts as a suit so you can initialize with the helper because both are the pointer and these are the pointer to characters so basically you can just put uh, a string uh, because uh, pointer to character string is a basically pointer to character so it also automatically provides you the backslash zero means that you should be able to handle the uh, string by using the pointer uh, face and pointer heart and i'll show you how you can do that so the card three hearts is another example uh, of assignment which is equal to one card now here we have defined one card as a as a structure variable jis tarah hum kehte hain ke integer x or later on we say ke x uh, y is equal to x similarly you may define another variable which you may call it as three hearts and uh, you can just assign or initialize it with the help of the data that you have already initialized it okay bilkul waise hi isko aap istemal karenge jaise you uh, as if you are using the variables or you may also define another form of initializing uh, the member here you can define member by member so we can say card heart here you have just done the declaration or then three hearts dot it's very important dot face is equal to 3 so i'll uh, come back to this dot later on but since it is already uh, here so i can just show you you can use the name of the variable then you can use the dot and then you can use the member okay so you can have a three hearts dot face which is equal to 3 and then similarly you can say that three hearts dot suit which is equal to heart this is equal to this type of initialization okay so structure pointers uh students i will uh, come back with the examples uh, later on in the uh, next lecture so but it's very important that first you have a very good concepts and then i can just throw uh, good uh, programming example so that you may understand it so i have already explained you the uh, structures structures member how can you access that and now i would like to provide you the detail regarding the structure pointers structure pointer what is that mean we already know the uh, pointer to uh, data type jaise integer steric x x is a pointer to integer character steric face face is a pointer to character and we can declare any pointer that could point out to the variable but basically you need to point out towards the data type of that particular variable Because this is pointer to an integer, pointer to an integer, and then you load the address of the variable, then becomes to pointer to an uh, variable, pointer to an integer variable x. So if I say integer steric x, and then later on I say that uh, uh, integer steric x uh, is equal to seven. Here I can initialize x is equal to seven. but since i have defined as a steric x means it is a pointer so if i want to load the address of x so what i can say i can say x equal equal to ampersand sign of any variable let's say y in that case i load the address similarly we can have a pointer pointing to a structure and pointing to a structure these pointers are known as structure pointers So let us look at to this particular example where we have declared a pointer to structure card. Structure card kya hai? That I have given you in the beginning. That has got two members. Kon kon se? Ek face or dusra uh, suit. So that is a pointer to card. So but here we have declared ace pointer and card pointer. So it is just like integer steric. X P T R comma steric Y P T R just like pointer to data type or pointer to integer or pointer to float you can declare card steric A S P T R 
Now, SPTR is a pointer to a structure called. Card PTR is a pointer to a structure card. And now I can just uh, see that okay, this is another way through which you can uh, declare it like that. Structure card, this is also a pointer. But these two pointers are pointed to card, pointed to structure card. And these two pointer means this is a pointer to character, pointer to character. Okay. So this pointer may or in pointers may difference and these are pointer to characters and these are pointer to structure card okay let us see suppose in the same example now this time uh, I would like to uh, use here the name of the array and the name of the author and uh, call number suppose uh, in the first example, I have said that the name is just one character, but that's impractical. This is more practical. Here we have declared the name and we are using name as a pointer. Name as a pointer or basically it's an array. So basically this is the character string that has stored or that may be stored in a array. Array is a array is a data structure and we say the character array means then we store consecutively all the uh, alphabets of the name into the array and then we can use the name of the array as a pointer constant and we can access the data so in this particular example suppose I have declared this uh, structure character name 25 and uh, 25 means uh, the size of the array named name then uh, this is the uh, name of the author or this is the name of the book and then call number so then we can initialize it also structure book b1 is equal to then in within the braces i can provide the list list in the sequence so the first one let us see let us see is the name of the book that will go to the this in particular array which is name then ypk YPK is the name of the author, which is the author of the book. Let us see. So we can just load it here in the name of the author array. And then the call number, suppose it is 101, and we can load it as an integer. So this is what we can do it, and we defined it, and then we can initialize it. Some uh, very important tips in the initialization in the array we have learned. We have learned that we can initialize an array with some values which might be less than the number of elements of the list. In that case, all the remaining elements are automatically initialized to zero. Same goes here. If you provide in this initialization list and you do not provide the complete list, then the remaining elements are automatically initialized to zero or a null in case of a character pointer or a character string okay well the same concept so structure book steric ptr now we have defined a pointer to this structure book and now we can load the address in this pointer since this is a pointer to structure book we can only load the address which should be the address of a book uh, address of the data structure address of the structure book so since B we have defined already is a data type and this data type is a book having these attributes. Therefore, we can word PTR is equal to address of B1. Now, instead of using now B1, we can manipulate the data using the pointer. Or pointer ka concept wo hi hai many aapko already padhaya. But its usage is slightly different other lot of difference between the use of the pointer to data type and point of structure so what is that so we can say that printf b1 dot name b1 dot author b1 dot call yet though we are using it for as if we have not defined here a pointer or we can just still access the data we can still access the data by using the name of the uh, data type uh, variable and that is here then dot and then the member so we can use this member first this two member this member so this is automatically 
the name of the array is the address of the array so it's automatically will provide you the address of the name so it will print letter C and it will print YPK and it will print 101 but suppose if we want to access the same data if we want to access the same data with the help of pointer then in that particular case we can use the pointer हम इसे पहले क्या करते थे? We used to put इसी तरह static PTR आगे it it used to provide us the result. But since यहाँ पे there is no single data item, there are three data items, so we need to specify all the data items. But we will not put static here, no static here. So what is the difference? Instead of dot, if we are using a pointer, we use arrow. This arrow is basically a combination of minus sign and a greater sign. So this particular arrow is considered as pointer operator. This is considered as pointer operator. And this pointer operator comprising, I have told you, two characters hai, which is minus sign and greater sign, which you can make this arrow. Bana sakte. So it is pointer name, comma, pointer author and pointer call number. So in this particular example, you can see that you, we can access the member of a particular structure by using the variable name, for using the name of the structure. And if we are not using the pointer, then we use the uh, variable name of the structure dot member name of the member or variable name of the member but if we are using a pointer in that particular case we are bound to put the arrow pointer and that arrow pointer basically is a combination of minus and greater sign and in that case we use a pointer then this arrow pointer which is minus and greater sign and then the member and similarly one by one we can refer to any uh, member of the structure. This is not necessary that you put them in the order. You can put them in any order, in any sequence, whatever your requirement of your program. So, we can uh, spend a few more uh, minutes to uh, see further concepts related to the pointer. That printf is usually the first printf is, sorry, I is just the explanation. This first printf says that it is a usual uh, one and the second printf where is uh, peculiar. Why it is peculiar? Because the first printf I said instead of using ptr.name or ptr.call we have not used uh, it like that and pointer is to a structured variable and I have already explained to you that we are not uh, doing that. So we will not use the dot operator, but we use the structure variable on the left side, then we can use the arrow pointer. So we need to provide this arrow pointer. This is basically the explanation. I guess I have already given you the explanation. So then remember that on the left hand side of the dot structure operator, the name must be a structure variable. But if you are using pointer, then on the left hand side, we should have the uh, pointer and then on the right hand side, we can have a pointer variable like this and then on the extreme right, we can have operator, there must always be a pointer to a structure, means that you need to have the variable through which, uh, at which this pointer is referring to. So this arrow used with pointers to a structure variable. So this is the valid utilization. Now here we are initializing it. So this is uh, something uh, that you got to be very, very uh, careful that you can define card static my PTR is equal to address of my card. Here you are not only defining it, pointed to a structure, but also you are simultaneously loading it. Okay, so my card suppose is a data structure the, the, the uh, structure variable that you must have defined it before and here you are loading the address here. And once you load the address of a pointer to a structure pointer, then you can use this structure pointer, my card, this one, and then you can go 
deep inside and deep inside means within the structure and refer to single member of that particular structure similarly if you want to use a book and uh, you want to use it as a pointer so in that case you can say that once again you will define a variable name my pointer then you will load the address once you load the address then you can just use it now since the uh, pages suppose the pages are in integer so printf may person d is basically representing uh, this uh, data type which is a pointer so you can use my pointer book my book pointer and then this pointer and then you can use the integer pages so my card this is a suit is equal to steric my card pointer dot suit this is something very interesting why because we are using it just like our traditional method of using the pointers aise karte the na pointer se pehle steric use karte the uske baad pointer ka naam and kaam asaan tha uske baad so we could have still do that that we can put a steric here and the the pointer variable or then we can also put a dot here but here we are bound to put the parenthesis here why we are bound to put the parenthesis here because this dot has got higher precedence over steric since it has got higher precedence over steric so we can control that by putting the parenthesis so the highest precedence is for the parenthesis so it will resolve it first steric my card uh, my card uh, ptr so means the system will understand that that this steric is for the pointer and then it will use it uh, access to the that particular member so that why this this particular uh, way of uh, referring to a particular member is bit peculiar because you are bound to put the parenthesis here so this is much more convenient and instead of putting parenthesis and we don't put steric here and we use this pointer here but if you want to use like this just like variable then you are required to put parenthesis both are equivalent so you can do it as per your convenience and you can do it as per your convenience here so this is uh, the example now whatever i have uh, discussed up to now i am putting it all together and here we will define here declare the structure card character steric face define the pointer to a face define the pointer to suit and this is the definition why i am doing it outside main you know that i have explained to you that if you want to use this particular structure within the function and in that case the function should know the definition or the declaration of the structure that you want to use it so for that purpose usually what we do if we want that over declaration or over prototype to a function should be known to all the function we do it before main and we uh, used to call it as a global declaration so basically here what we have done is we have provided a global declaration so if we have provided a global declaration then it will be visible to this main and main should be able to use it and even whatever functions you will be putting after the main should also know that this structure card is a data data type having two members face and suit which are pointed to characters so then we can define a structure card a card this is the word that is a keyword which is struct and the tag and then using the keyword and tag you can define the variable so we can define the variable a card here and then a pointer to this one and then we can just put the data a is here and uh, spades here and then we can load the address once we load the address then it is available to the pointer now there are three ways through which this data has been printed that's why it is percent as percent as percent as then backslash n then three data type backslash n three data type backslash n so for every uh, backslash n there should be three variables so first is a card dot face of of we are using for the 
second argument okay we want to put off uh, off in between so we have uh, provided a string constant vitral string vitral here which is off and you know that what is a string vitral and then we provide the member so these are the two members and we can use it by using this variable name and then we can put a dot here and then we can use the members first way of doing it second way of doing it once again there are three strings for here if we will refer the members through a pointer so card ptr this arrow operator then uh, the second vitral which is off then the third bit and this is the third one that i said that even if you want to use the steric here to refer to any particular point uh, any particular member you can still use a steric but you are bound to put the parenthesis so that the precedence may not overrule so here once again one two and three and output of all the three arguments because there are the three different two uh, arguments in the three different ways one two and three so output is the same is space okay simple but you need to have some solid understanding and good concept of using structure so let's move forward we can talk about the additional features of the uh, structures what are the additional features of the structures and uh, the values of the structure variable can be assigned to another structure for loop ke andar hum for loop use karte hain we call it as a nested for loop uh, function ke andar function ko call karte hain call it a nested function similarly we can define a structure and then within the structure means as a member as a member we can use a structure also so structure can be member of another structure structure can be member of another structure and then we can just manipulate it and how we are going to manipulate it i will give you some examples and explanation for that so suppose here we have defined a structure employee and uh, then uh, we have defined here the in this particular example this is the name of the employee this is the age and this is the salary and we have initialized it and uh, okay this is not the example of the nested structure i will come back to this next slide but here it is giving you some interesting uh, example structure employee e1 ahmed 30 which is the age integer salary this is the salary of ahmed and then uh, we can use structure employee e2 and e3 we have defined two more variables then string copy we cannot copy because ahmed is the name this is an array if you refer it a name you cannot simply copy that because they are strings so in order to copy you can use the string copy function and then you want to copy e1 into e2 e1 means ahmed so it's mean that with the help of e1 dot name this uh, pointer uh, this uh, uh, member you can use because both are arrays so you can copy e1 dot name into e2 then you can say e2 so you are using member by member you are copying it or copying all elements at one go ये मैंने आपको शुरू में बताया था कि आइजर यू कैन कॉपी द एलिमेंट्स वन बाय वन और यू कैन सिंपली कॉपी द एलिमेंट्स डायरेक्टली ई थ्री इज इक्वल टू सो जब आप यूज करेंगे डायरेक्टली देन दिस नेम विल ऑटोमेटिकली बी कॉपीड बट अगर आप इसको इंडिविजुअली करेंगे एंड यू कैन से दैट ई टू डॉट नेम इज इक्वल टू ई वन डॉट नेम इट विल ओनली कॉपी वन करेक्टर एंड दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम okay but once you are using it e3 is equal to e2 then the system knows that what is the data type and how this data should be copied so here we can just now uh, print this e1 dot name salary uh, sorry age and salary e2 e3 and it should also give you the same result that means ke yahan par humne copy kiya tha member by member yahan par humne copy kiya is using uh, the uh, assignment operator so that we can do aapko yaad hoga shuru mein maine aapse kaha tha you cannot use equal equal but i am using here a single equal sign so i hope that you still remember the difference that equal equal is a equal operator 
which you use to compare the two entities together. Whereas a single equal sign is the assignment operator where the R value is assigned to the L value. Right side pe jo aap jikte hain, wo assign ho jata hai, left side ke upar. And not equal sign basically hum use karte hain to compare that the two entities are not equal. So this is not the operator jis ke liye meinne aapko shuru mein mana kiya tha. This is a single operator. Or single operator hota hai assignment ke liye. So this is the output I have all said. So uh, coming back to this uh, nested structure, that one structure can be nested within another structure and uh, we can use this facility uh, to have the complex data that can be created. So let us have an example. Yes, here is an example. So we have defined a structure address where we have a phone number in the form of characters because if I declare it an integer then there is a limitation that uh, the unsigned integer, uh, signed integer has 3 to 7, 6, 7, 2 raised to power 15 minus 1 and unsigned integer has 2 raised to power 16 minus 1 which is 65,535 but the telephone number could be larger than that integer number so we can declare it as a character. So we can always use uh, the uh, digits as a character also. Similarly, you can put the name of the city and then integer pin code and then we can have a structure employee. And here we are using character name, name of the employee that is the member and instead of repeating all these elements, here we have used a structure address A. This is something very interesting that we have defined a structure and here we are referring it to in another structure. Then how should we refer to this part, members of this one? How we are going to refer to uh, this uh, a dot phone or a dot city because uh, it is the member of the employee. So let us see that if a structure employee E is equal to we have assigned the name then we have assigned telephone number then the city and then so basically we have assigned this structure employee and E is an employee and we have assigned this data. So how can we access that? We can have uh, N name backslash N is for the new line then the name is equal to percentage, phone is equal to percentage and E dot name comma E dot A dot phone. This is important E dot A dot phone e dot a will take you here this is e is for this employee employee is e so when you say e dot a will take you to this member a and then what is the member still you have not reached to the member so then you say dot phone so this is e dot a dot phone similarly you can just print the data e dot a dot city e dot a dot pin so you can use the dot to cover up the nesting that you have done in the declaration okay it's simple but just it's very logical also so it should not uh, be a worry for you isko aapko samajhne mein koi rata nahi lagana padega but it's a very very logical to understand it so here we can say that name is equal to Ahmed Ali and phone is equal to this one and city is equal to Islamabad and pin is equal to 10 this is the output of the this printf function and this printf function. This is the first line output, this is the second line output. So the first line output name is equal to Ahmadavi and phone is equal to this one and the second line, uh, sorry, the second line is city and pin so you put the data city, Samad, pin is 10. So we have already noticed that how can we access uh, the nested function we can access the nested function just like that but we just need to add one more dot here to provide the nested so in this way you there is a no no limitation there's a no limitation that you can only have one nesting you can have as many nesting as you want and then you can just choose it maybe there's a very interesting example uh, that I will give you uh, maybe today or maybe in the demonstration so the nested structure, we can nest a structure within a structure, within another structure 
एंड देर इज़ नो लिमिट मैंने आपसे कहा कि यू कैन जस्ट डू इट एज मैनी टाइम्स एज यू वॉन्ट एंड एज पर योर रिक्वायरमेंट सो सच कंस्ट्रक्शन हावर गिव राइज टू अ वेरिएबल नेम डैट कैन बी सरप्राइजिंगली सेल्फ डिस्क्रिप्टिव ये एग्जाम्पल है जो मैं आपसे कह रहा था फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव डिफाइंड स्ट्रक्चर टोटा देन वे आर यूजिंग इंजन देन इंजन स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग बोर्ड देन बोर्ड स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग लार्ज देन लार्ज स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग क्वान्टिटी सो यू हैव डिफाइंड अ स्ट्रक्चर क्वान्टिटी डेट यू यूज इट इन टू द लार्ज डेट हाउ मेनी बोर्ड्स आर रिक्वायर्ड maybe it's of different sizes medium large and what size and then these are the boards and these are boards related to the engine and this engine belongs to a toyota car so you can see that k this nesting is basically providing us more meaning to our data variables and it gives you the hierarchical structure sequence also so this clearly signifies that we are referring to a quantity of large size board that fit in onto engine of the toyota car so like an ordinary variable a structure variable can also be passed to a function this is uh, another concept that how can we pass the structure to a function so i will come back with this uh, next slide uh, maybe i will talk about okay, how these structures are used by the function so we may either pass the individual structure elements or we can pass the entire structure elements so let us see what is appropriate and how can we do that so using structures with functions so we can pass the structure to a function call by value call by reference this is the same as we have been passing the variable to a particular function so we can pass the variable to a function jab hum integers or data type ki baat karte hain we usually pass it by value and we pass the address of that particular variable in case of we are doing the call by reference but when we pass the argument as a value basically a duplicate a duplicate copy is created into the memory this is called by value and whatever manipulation you do it in the memory that does not change the original content of the arguments that you have kept in the calling program but the call program can manipulate the data by copying the copy of the contents into the uh, variables into the arguments and they can modify it change it but only the local copy can be modified and changed original remains the same so similarly you can pass the entire structure or you can pass the individual members and the system will use it just like ordinary variables by what does it mean it will maintain a copy and it will manipulate it but if you want you can pass the structure called by reference in which mean that you are required to pass the address so when you pass the address then the passing address is the pass reference to it what does it mean that is you are providing the address of the structure variable and in this case if you want to make any manipulation and any changes then those changes will be reflected in the actual structure that you have defined might be in the calling program so the called program you had means the function whatever changes will made will also be reflected over there wo hi concept hai that i have already taught you in the uh, with the integers but something which is very interesting that i that why i have kept it as a heading to pass array called by value we have seen that whenever we pass an array to a function we basically do it call by reference not by call by value not by call by value kyu kyunki we used to pass the name of the array when you pass the name of the array even if you use another variable name to pick that name into that particular variable the actual address of that array is passed on so whatever manipulation you carry out whatever manipulation you carry out for the array elements that changes if you update in the uh, Uh, card program any change to any particular element that uh, data is changed because you are passing it by reference so arrays are always passed by reference but if you want to pass an array 
and you want to pass it call by uh, not reference but call by value so that the original data should not be changed so uske liye what you can do you can create a structure in which you can create one member of the structure which is an array and then you can pass this structure call by value in that case the array will be passed but this array will be passed as call by value iska matlab hai ki uski duplicate copy will be created in the uh, called uh, function aur wo function mein uh, whatever changes you will made will not harm or will not update the original data that was placed in the arrays so this is an indirect way a very intelligent way of calling by value for arrays if you pass the array as a structure as a member of a structure so that is something improvement that you can do it if required and if it is a requirement of your application then there is a topic which is called uh, we use it very commonly this is called type def type def is basic it's not an uh, additional data types this is a nickname this is called alias alias ya yeah, synonyms synonyms or nickname or the alias means that you give another name to a, a particular data type so this is basically a given name this is basically a nickname for example we can say type def structure card static card ptr here the structure card static what uh, what does it mean uh, let me uh, ball point i take so this structure called static has been given a name which is card ptr so whenever you will uh, uh, require to write down structure card static you will not write structure card static instead you will write card ptr ओके सो बेसिकली हम स्ट्रक्चर कार्ड स्टेरिक जो है इसको हम एक शॉर्ट नेम एक एलियस या सिना नेम दे रहे हैं विच इज कार्ड पी टी आर दिस इज द ओनली यूज एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ द प्री प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ योर source code that the, it's a p processor directive that the system automatically finds and replaces the type def ki aapne kis cheez ko kya naam aapne assign kiya hai so that the compiler will always get structure card static and that it will replace wherever it will find card ptr okay so it define a new type name card ptr as a synonym for the card structure card static so type def does not create a new data type but on we create the nickname which is called the avs <coughs> so let's pass the individual structure elements uh, in the function that how can you use uh, the elements of the structure in a function so i've defined the same example this book here we have initialized it here <coughs> we have defined a function and we are passing the argument of a function by by member by member so we can refer b1 dot name for uh, the name of the book b1 dot author the name of the author and b1 dot call so you can pass on the uh, you to your uh, calling function the members and you are even not bound to put them in this uh, same order it could be according to the prototype definition of the display and that you need to provide uh, somewhere somewhere Uh, somewhere upside because you are using it okay so uh, i have skipped here i should have provided this uh, prototype here now this display function this display function will receive the arguments character static s and character static t to receive the first two arguments as a pointer to character as a pointer to character aap receive kar sakte hai na because you are passing the name of the array and name of the array is a pointer is a pointer constant it is a pointer constant so you can directly use the name of the array as an address of the array as a pointer constant so you can just uh, copy it here 
and then you can use uh, receive the third in here and then you can just use the printout s t and n so here you are using it s as an uh, address this is a pointer to array so it will automatically print uh, the name means uh, letter c and y p k and 101 so this is how you pass the elements to a given function to a required function so this will be the output so observe that the declaration of the structure name and author have been declared as arrays therefore we can call the function display using this name of the array man i've already explained kar diya so we are passing the base address of the array that is the name of the array which is the name of the author and name of the uh, the book and uh, i think i have already explained that it can immediately realize that to pass individual elements would become more tedious as the number of structure elements go on increasing aapko teen elements pass karne pade agar ye suppose seven hote ten hote to aapko utni hi member by member aapko pass karne padte so that becomes tedious if the number of elements of a given structure uski list agar zyada lambi ho jaye okay so what we can do yes we can pass here this is uh, once again called by value and we have to use the same example here but this time we have defined it so that this display function should also have the knowledge about the prototype of this structure book structure book b1 is equal to let us see and this is initialization and instead of passing the argument by member by member we can pass it by just passing the variable of that particular structure variable name of that structure so this b1 so the b1 is passed and it will receive it as a structure variable structure book b and this is knowledgeable that it knows that okay which we example may yes it was not required basically yes that was the reason that i have not given the prototype over there but still uh, that this uh, should contain the three elements for that purpose aapko prototype to dena hai display ka lekin structure ko aap zaruri nahi ki aap usko global declare kare and uh, you use it there so that was the reason uh, ke we have not provided it outside this main kyunki hum is definition ko use nahi kar rahe balki hum is definition ke liye sirf ye keh rahe hain ki display is a function that should receive the first argument as a pointer to character second argument pointer to character third argument integer it has nothing to do with this book structure although these are the members but if we want to use it as this definition display b1 name author aur ye hum use kar rahe hain ordinary uh, three arguments ke taur par but here we are passing it as a structure in that case the display should know that ke b ye jo it will receive the argument and that argument should be a point that argument should be a data type of book or the data type of structure book okay so we can receive it and then we can use it we can use it as a member because you will receive the complete structure here in b and then you can use it okay so the output remains the same and uh, note that you can use the three members one by one so having corrected what is being passed to display a function the question comes how do we define the formal arguments in the function so we cannot say here structure book b1 unless until we have the definition first yahi wajah hai ki here we have provided the definition as a global definition and uh, we have defined it the structure book outside main so that the display function should be able to understand that so display function ki knowledge ko badhane ke liye we have done that now calling by reference just like uh, structure variables i have already given you the examples how can you process the uh, structure uh, pointers pointer to structure here we will use and i will show you how can you do that so suppose we have defined a structure book here and uh, once again the three uh, uh, pointers here and here we have defined a structure book b1 and we are passing the address this is called by reference we are previous example we have passed display b1 that is called by value 
and it will create a duplicate instance of that function means ke jo changes wahan par hongi will not be reflected here although ke aap isme array use kar rahe hain but ye array ki bhi copy khud banayega is display function mein but here in this particular example we are passing the address address of this uh, particular variable so this is not called by value but this is called by reference and suppose here if you want to make some changes if you want to use can a function or if you want to use an initialization of a function and you make certain changes that changes will be reflected here also in the main so since you will receive it now this is the address so you are receiving it as a pointer structure book pointer to a book and now you want to use it as a pointer arrow operator through which you can refer to any individual element so this is the output that is the same so we have to access the structure element using the uh, pointer to a structure and i have already explained you that i can use we can use minus and greater sign as an operator single operator so also the structure struct book should be declared outside main once again because you want to have the prototype means ki you want to educate the display function that what is the structure related okay uses of structure where are the structures useful the immediate application that comes to our mind is the database management in the database management we are required to handle records and as i said in the beginning that each record may comprise different set of fields and each field could have its own data type even if you can have a nested data type you are allowed to define the nested data type so whatever complicated data type you are handling you can do that with the help of structures with the help of structured defined data type so there is uh, we can maintain data about employee in an organization we can uh, maintain the data of the books in the library we can have uh, inventory store we can have a account transaction and that we can combine it together one single structure so however the use of structure stretches much beyond database management okay because it it, it provide you to handle a uh, for example uh, a mall where you are handling all the data and you can still handle each article each item that is present in there and then you can perform different types of transactions so it's a very powerful feature that you can utilize so summary of this uh, lecture and the topic structure the structure is usually used when we wish to store dissimilar data together so this is a facility that has provided by the c language to define variety of data under single name so structure element can be accessed through structure variable using the dot operator and pointer to a structure you can access to a member using this pointer operator element of one structure can be assigned to another structure variable with the assignment operator but mind it you cannot test one structure directly with another structure if you want to test that whether two structures are equal or not then you are required to put the comparison element by element means sorry is me element nahi hota member by member and is ke andar we use uh, uh, kya use karte hain elements use karte hain जबकि स्ट्रक्चर के केस में हम इसको एलिमेंट नहीं बल्कि मेंबर फॉर मेंबर। सो इफ यू वांट टू कंपेयर दैट वेदर टू स्ट्रक्चर्स आर इक्वल देन यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू कंपेयर ईच एंड एवरी मेंबर वेदर दे आर इक्वल और नॉट सो यू कैन डिफाइन योर स्ट्रक्चर्स सो विद दिस आई थिंक आई स्टॉप हेयर एंड इन द next lecture i will come up with a similar topic and some additional topics so student this is a very powerful feature of c language and you have seen that it is not difficult but it gives you a power it gives you a strength it gives you the skill to handle the complex data in your application okay 
So I expect that you will go through this lecture as many times as you like and try to grasp the concept of structures. That's very important, but you have seen that really it's not difficult. So see you in the next lecture. Till then, Khuda Hafiz, Allah Nikibhan.